Okay, on the theme of falling in love with people, uh, here's one. I don't know if this is a good story or not. I might get upset again. Um, I was a senior in high school. I was working at Harmony Cafe in Appleton, and uh, and this girl Mandy, Mandy, she started working there, and she was fascinating to me, man. She had dreadlocks. She was from a different state, you know. She, uh, you know, smoked pot. I didn't smoke pot much at that time. I was just starting to get into weed and like have my first beers and stuff. And so, like, uh, we did that sort of thing together. We started hanging out, you know, at her house. She had her own apartment. I was living with my folks, obviously. I was 18. And we started dating, man. Like, I'd get into bars with her, you know, and like, got in the Fox River house. First bar I ever got drunk at was across from the police station in Appleton, downtown Appleton. So dumb. Uh, I mean, a lot of fun though. I would do it again. I definitely would. But, uh, Mandy and I, oh man, I remember when we first kissed was that night I was drunk at the bar. Uh, by the pool table. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> she, she was not that cool though. She told me, uh, we'd been dating for six months. And at that time, after six months of us being together, she told me that she, uh, just got out of rehab for bath salts. Like when she started working at Harmony, that was like weeks after rehab for fucking bath salts. Like, just sh cheap, shitty speed, and, like, and I didn't, I didn't understand what that meant at the time, and she was a horrible alcoholic, oh my god, she would drink, um, summer shandies, summer, <laughs> wine and kugel summer shandies, warm, all the time, just, like, you know, she'd probably go through a case, like, a 30 rack, like, every two days of fucking summer shandy, <laughs> so nasty, <laughs> I still like those beers, though, but not warm, fucking cold, because I'm not a goddamn animal, uh, <laughs> But uh, what happened, uh, you know, it was a, that was a beautiful summer. One of the most in love I've ever been. Just totally infatuated with this woman. Uh, Twitter painted, uh, enamored, I think it's the right word. Enamored, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking enamel. Um, but uh, I was going to college, you know, to Stephen's Point, an hour away from Appleton. And there was like, we like, knew there was like an end date to the relationship if if you've ever had an end date to a relationship before you know that is so painful uh so painful especially in a world of like monogamy and like expectations like marriage and things you know like it, it's so hard to just know that it's gonna be done and like and even, like, we were, like, arguing and stuff, and, like, we probably could have just broken it off, like, naturally, but we felt like we had to hold on until that end day. We were like, well, it's another month, you know? And uh, she was cheating on me. I didn't consciously know it then, but I think I knew it unconsciously, and I definitely knew it not far after, like, when I got back when I was in college and stuff like I was I was pretty aware of that and you know she was sleeping with a mutual friend of ours which hurt I mean that guy I don't blame him I'm not bitter about it anymore I understand now like at the time like what I wanted what I expected out of love and out of a relationship was not a was not what she expected but b not it just wasn't who she was. I wasn't, I wasn't taking Mandy for Mandy. I was t taking Mandy for who I wanted a lover and a girlfriend to be, you know. And that was a really hard lesson, man. She, she knew that difference. She was older. I didn't say this. I was 18. She was 23. She's five years older and like, just more experienced in the world, you know, in some ways, in a lot of ways. And she knew this difference of, like, our expectations of love, and I don't think she could have articulated it, but she definitely didn't handle it very well. Like, I don't know. She just, you know, like, cheating on me. You know, like, that was an expression of, like, hey, you're wanting something I can't give you. Like, she was expressing that to me, and I could not comprehend that. And I think she knew that, but maybe in the same way that I knew she was cheating, she just didn't know how to 
to be upfront about it, but I don't know. Mandy. Fucking Mandy. Sometimes I think about looking her up to see where she's at, but I'm kind of afraid she's dead. 